Hi, I'm Shanti Llewellyn, and I'm the Oregon Working Families Party nominee for U.S. Senate. I'm a lawyer representing workers by day, a union dock worker by night, and the father of two beautiful young children. I'm running for U.S. Senate because the working class is under attack. Hours are getting longer, while pay is getting shorter. Higher education has become less attainable, and the voices of Oregonians are being drowned out by big business and out-of-state multimillionaires. As your U.S. Senator, I will vote against the Unfair Trans-Pacific Partnership, also known as the TPP work to overturn Citizens United, and engage students in the political process by championing quality higher education without crushing debt. I will fight fiercely to feed the children, house the homeless, and protect the rights of the LGBTQIA community. For the first time in our history, the American tradition of increasing health, wealth, and opportunity with each generation is at risk. A rapidly globalizing and mechanizing economy has left millions of American workers out. This means that even though workers at every level in every industry are more productive than ever, families are not getting the opportunities they need to share in today's economic recovery. My opponent, Ron Wyden, has prioritized his big money backers over Oregon households. He's advocated taxes on health insurance and supported voucherizing Medicare. In 2015, he sponsored fast-track legislation foreclosing congressional input on the TPP, which threatens the very fabric of our democracy. Already, Oregon has lost more than 50,000 jobs to unfair trade agreements. The TPP promises more of the same. It would subject good American jobs to unfair competition from underpaid foreign workers, forcing even more companies to move family wage jobs overseas. Meanwhile, the TPP and other trade agreements fast-tracked by my opponent would tie our hands when we, the people, need to take the necessary steps to protect jobs, consumers, health, the environment, internet freedom, and our economy. Why would Senator Wyden support the TPP and so many other trade-related and domestic policies that have put our state in jeopardy? Maybe it has something to do with the fact that his top campaign contributors include big banks, health insurance companies, big pharma, and the oil industry. By contrast, my contributions are coming from working Oregonians. So I will not be beholden to corporations like my opponent. With your support, I will cast Oregon's vote to break up the banks that are too big to fail, support Medicare for all, and enact measures necessary to reverse climate change. I propose a 21st century reform, leveraging the bounty of our land to create rural jobs for Oregonians sustainably harvesting and locally processing forest products. Forestry, prioritizing fuels management and taller stands of trees can be used to create family wage jobs for generations while promoting biodiversity. I support modernizing our highway, rail and marine transportation systems to promote energy efficiency and create additional rural development jobs. Instead of being enticed by short-term gains from, our, from building pipelines to export our oil, Let's build the foundations for another century as a world leader in cultural and technological innovation. From personal experience, I know what it means to live in poverty, to enter an anemic job market with student debt, and to work for low wages. I'm devoted to the success of the people of Oregon in empowering each other and ourselves to help every Oregonian reach their full potential. I have started two small businesses. I have stood on the picket line with environmentalists and with workers and I know what it takes to advocate for the underdog in court. I aim to enable a coalition of everyday Oregonians to put forward policies that embody our values and live up to our commitment to our heritage and to, better to a better future. There is no excuse for failing to protect all endangered species, including salmon and mill workers. Let's build a movement that's not scared to face these problems and engage every Oregonian in the process. Oregon has come a long way toward creating a culture of inclusion and equality, but the two major parties have not caught up because after Citizens United, money talks and the rest of us walk. I'm Shanti Llewellyn and I'm asking you to vote for me for U.S. Senator. Join the Working Families Party in building a movement that has room for all of us, not just Wall Street insiders and corporate phonies. For more information, please go to my website, www.shantiforsenate.com and follow me on Twitter at Shanti for Senate. Together we can make Oregon a leader in electing a brand new Senate.